We love a wonky leaf. Greetings, planty people, and welcome back to my jungle. Okay, so I thought it would be a good idea to share my updated Syngonium collection. I think I did do a video in the past, but I can't remember if I posted it or not. So I've recently acquired quite a few, I wouldn't say loads, not as much as my philodendron collection, but I've got more Syngonium recently because I love them. So a while ago I bought a reverted Albo Syngonium. Um, I think it was off Etsy. It was only a few pounds and I thought even if it doesn't give me any variegation, I don't mind because it's still pretty, but I've given it lots of light under the grow light and look at that! How beautiful is that? I'm such a big fan. I just love the shape as well. So when I got it, it only had two leaves. So this was the first leaf it gave me and I was like, oh, there's hope, there's hope. And then this one came out and I'm like, oh, so happy about it. So, so happy. I do have another little selection of Albo in my prop box over there because I got that from the plant swap on the free table and it was just in a jar and I thought why not so I think this is my favorite syngone oh that's actually a tough one I'm not sure if it's my favorite but it's one of my favorites so yeah if you want to save some money and get a reverted one they're really good because apparently they bounce back quite well with variegation so give that a go. Also if you hear a nice pleasant pitter patter it's currently a bit of a storm in the UK at the moment and my room's in the attic so not really much I can do about that but you might like it so I like it. Okay so the next one is this milk confetti. This is one of my newest ones. I did a video about it on my plants for all seasons haul video and I thought I'd put it in this cute little spooky pink pot because it's got some pink freckly bits on there. Um, it's putting out some new leaves, which I'm over the moon about. I'm gonna try and grow it on a little stake. I need a bigger one than this, but this is all I had because I feel like the leaves will get bigger quicker as well. Syngoniums do like to climb. People don't really realize that. I think this is my palest one. I just, how gorgeous is that? I'm absolutely over the moon with this. I think there's another one where it's like strawberry confetti or something or other. But I just, I love the little pink freckles. I'm a big fan of pink. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> okay, so next one, similar size, same pot, different colour. So I got this from Landudno in, when did I, September was it? Might have been September. Yeah, I went to Landudno and I found a plant shop, as I do, it's called Botanical Babe. And there was a little selection of baby plants and I was like, I'd already bought a plant at this point, I had to go back for it. <laughs> so this is the Mojito slash Mottled. I don't know which one it is. I think it's both. Um, ignore the string, I need to trim this. But yeah, it's about the same size, same price. I think it was 5 dollars something like that. It was a little bit rotty. I think the soil was a bit too rich. I might need to repot this eventually. But it's giving me this ooh, beautiful new leaf. I just, isn't that gorgeous? It reminds me a bit of the philodendron, how do you pronounce it? Para, Paradiso Verde? Verde. Um, it looks very similar to this. So if you want a dupe that's a lot more affordable, go for this. I just love Syngonium. They're all so different and all so colourful. And that's why I love philodendron too. <laughs> but I do want to get some more Syngonium. So let me know what your favourites are and what your recommendations are. So the next one I've talked about quite a lot and this is a, one of my favourites as well. So this is the Frosted Heart Syngonium and I constantly tell people to get one of these because it has a similar personality to a Florida Ghost Philodendron because when the leaves come through they're like this pastel white greeny colour almost. I don't know what happened to this leaf but she's serving hourglass and slept. I think it did get a little bit overwatered, hence this, but I'm letting it dry out. I found it's quite a fast grower and I love its big rounded leaves and it's really easy to propagate as well. I've given quite a few cuttings to my friends. I'm just waiting for another big shoot to grow so I can pass them to my friend Lottie because she's also a Syngonium queen. But I found it's not too expensive so that's always a plus. I don't really have any expensive Syngonium yet. I do really want to get the Grey Ghost. Beautiful. It's similar to the Milk Confetti, but more black and white, black and grey. 
beautiful. So the next one you will have seen if you saw my Syngonium sorting out on a moss pole video. <laughs> Can't remember what I called it. So this was four pound, believe it or not, including the moss pole. It was on the reduced section in the plant shop and obviously I had to save it. It had aphids, so I gave it a big, big shower, a big, big spray and chopped off any of the not very nice leaves and it seems to be doing better i mean bear in mind i didn't do it that long ago and it is autumn so i feel like it still has time to show its true colors oh. will there be a day where i don't knock over a plant oh, where was i mr postman came i got excited and knocked over a plant this was four pounds i think it was meant to be 30 pounds or even more so I thought even if it doesn't survive, I've still got the moss pole and I can take cuttings. I believe it's a pink butterfly syngonium, so that's gorgeous. Love pink, love pink, love pink. Okay, so next one, I thought this was my last one, but I found another one. This is my tri leaf syngonium that I've mentioned probably a million times at this point. This one is a great plant because one, it looks and behaves like a bego begonia, philodendron. Two, it's so easy and it grows so fast. I chopped it down and started again because it was getting a bit leggy because it had spider mites so i chopped it down propagated it extremely easily here we are you can see like the aerial roots are so philodendron e and i've given so many of these cuttings away because they're just one of the easiest plants ever if you're thinking about getting one i strongly suggest you do because they're so cool and they grow so fast and i think when the leaves get really really mature they have more fenestrations kind of like how epipremnum get more eventually i'll get it to grow up this pole and grow nice and big check on your roots you're all good okay last but not least is this red spot i keep going to say philodendron syngonium <laughs> please excuse the pot it doesn't fit but i had to put it in something because i needed to water it <laughs> but again i got this in the discounted section i watched it for a while in the shop and I could tell they weren't looking after it properly. So I was like, that's gonna go in the discount bit. And I was right. So how much would it have been? It would have been 24 99 but I got it half price. I did have one a while ago, but I don't think I looked after it properly or it was too far gone because that was also reduced. It has these gorgeous kind of pink splash bits like the pink butterfly, but with green and it grows quite tall. So I want to make sure this one grows nicely because I can't wait for it to get nice and big, basically. But how gorgeous is that? I really want to get the, what's it called? A tri no, tricolor one of this where it has the white as well. And I just think it's absolutely gorgeous, but we'll see how it goes with this one. And then I'll probably get one. I just love its little ears. Aww. So yeah, that's all my syngonium so far, I believe. So yeah, let me know what's your favourite and let me know what syngoniums you have and what syngoniums you want to get because I like a bit of inspiration for my wish list. I'll leave all my social medias down below. Have a lovely day, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.